A health alert now from the CDC. If you have feathery friends, this is for you. 800 cases of salmonella have been linked to birds raised in backyards across the U.S. You can see on this map here there are cases in almost every state. Here in Northeast Florida, several neighborhoods now allow chickens to be raised in backyard coops. The most recent is Neptune Beach, where the city council approved a pilot program to allow them. Well, tonight, Channel 4's Francesca Amerker joining us live with this warning. Fran? You know, many people are rushing to stores like this one to buy these little chicks that they put in their backyard because, you know, farm life is this new craze out here, right? Well, that's why officials say there is some concern before you get excited about these cuddly creatures. They love raisins. Uh, Betty White's being shy. She's usually the most active. Come on, Betty White. Come on. It's not every day you see chickens in a backyard. But for the past few months, Amy Vickery has decided to call Coco Chanel and Betty White her own. They'll graze in the yard and eat um, the grass and weeds. They love weeds. She says when they were babies, like you see in this home video, they also loved being rubbed. But according to a recent study published by the CDC, that's no longer the best idea. In the last seven months, there have been nearly 800 cases linking live poultry to salmonella. Specifically, researchers are linking the outbreak to backyard flock. Out of the 48 states with the illness, Florida has the second highest number with 30 people infected. Officials say this is why it's crucial to wash your hands immediately after contact. We'll pet them on the back, but the important thing is you, you have to immediately go inside, wash your hands. If you've been having them on your clothing and stuff, you're supposed to change your clothes. Health officials also warn if your backyard chickens roam in your garden, be sure to wash your produce thoroughly. And if you have any pets that come in contact with chickens, they too run the risk of getting sick. And if you're one of the residents who live in Neptune Beach and you're interested in having these hens or these chickens of your own and you want to apply for this program, you can get a certificate. You also have to take a class and then you also have to get a permit to have a coop. I'm live tonight, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.